Okay, hello everyone. Um, in this video, I want to go ahead and show you the uh, Cisco uh, because I wanted to try and selling those uh, devices to my customers, uh, but I never used them, so I decided to buy me one myself. Um, this is a Cisco. Let me just look up the side here. Here we go. Sorry. This is uh, the Aeronet uh, AP 1852. So that's not the highest one, but it's the two giga, uh, two two thousand megabytes Wi-Fi and dual band. So I'm curious about that and uh, the rest of the features. So let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Let me just put this down and try to open it. There we go. So as you can see, it's uh, access points is inside. It's a pretty heavy one. So it's hopefully it's good quality. So as you can see, you have the console cable, an USB cable, uh, auxiliary cable, PoE port, which we'll be using, and the 48 volt adapter, uh, which is not included if you need one. So let's uh, put that aside. Let's see what else is inside the box. There is a wall mount bracket, so you can put it on a wall. There are plug-in and screws delivered with it. And I'm guessing more wall mount or something. I don't know why this is, so I'll figure it out. For the rest, there's nothing in the box, not even CD, no manual, nothing, no adapter. So that's it. So this is the uh, all of the package. Uh, they say it takes five to ten minutes to install. So um, let's go ahead and see if it works in five or ten minutes. So I hooked up the access point to my PV switch. I connected to the network, um, but now it's uh, blinking green, red, orange, and I explain why. So first of all, I there are some different uh, versions of the access point you can buy. So in my case, I bought the I version, one eight five two I with internal antennas, that's mean internal, so you can buy uh, the E version, external, but I have I. The middle level is for uh, what country you're in, so I'm in Europe, so it's E, if you're in America it's something else. K9, that's the one I bought. K9 uh, means that it's just an access point uh, and it's not a equipped with a Mobility Express controller. So there is a version with C, K9C, which includes the Mobile Express software. Now that doesn't mean that the K9 doesn't work, uh, but you need to convert it from the uh, uh, AP Lightweight to the Mobility Express software. Another remark is if you buy the K9 and you need to convert it, then you will need a contract of Cisco so you can upgrade to the Mobile Express software, which allow you to download the software actually and ask for support also. So keep in mind that you have to buy a contract of Cisco. If you have an external controller, then you don't need it. You can just connect it uh, and the uh, control and it will look for the controller and will connect with the controller automatically. So for now, um, here's the guide, uh, link guide to. Uh, how to configure the uh, access point. It includes a way to convert from, it's called CapWap Lightweight AP to Cisco Mobility Express software. So um, first you have to check what version is running on it. Uh, you have to look for the fields, um, AP image type, AP configuration. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and start a session with my AP point. Uh, you will need an access console port, uh, an access console cable 
to connect with the console port. That's necessary. So mine is on com port 6. Let's see. Connect. Okay. You see it's connected. Let's see. Mm, that's not correct. What's happening here? Let's do reboot. Let's go ahead and just reboot the device because it's not actually booted correctly. There we go. Okay, it, it was in a cycle, sorry. It will be in a cycle if it doesn't find any controller. So let's give it a minute to boot again. So it's booted, I think. Let's see, username is Cisco, capital C, same as a password. Now you type show sh version and you look for the uh, fields I was I just mentioned so let's see it's not in here it should be in this column so I don't find any uh, AP configuration or AP image so if it's not there you can convert it to the uh, software if it's there then you can type in another command to switch from the CapWap to the Mobility Express software. So for now, I'm gonna convert it. So uh, you have to download the image first um, from the Cisco website. Let me show you what name it is. I downloaded this one. So that you have to put in a DFTP server folder to be able to upload it. Okay. So let's see what next. Uh, so connect the console port. Yes, that I've done. Log into the switch, the AP point, sorry. And then you have to type the following command. Let's see. So first go to enable. That's like any other Cisco device, switch or router, you have to go to enable. Then type in IP type, a mobility, sorry, mobility express, TFTP server. Mine is, I think, was, if I'm correctly. Let me just go ahead and check it. And then we need to type the name of the image. The name is 1850.9.3.2.0. If you look correctly, I was at 8.2. I'm gonna try directly to switch to 8.3. I hope it works. If not, the video will fail. Okay, and if that's it, let me check. File name of the pot, yes. Let's go ahead. Okay, there is an error for downloading the image. Sorry about that. I had to type in That command. There we go. So now it's uploading the image. After that, we'll do reboot. I've been told. And then we can start configuring with the wizard it shows in the manual. So 
So we'll go ahead and leave it running here. It's running to flash. Let's hope it's going to ultimately upgrade to the 8.3. Okay, going down for restart. Okay, it's restarting. Nope, I'm not going to hit escape. Let's give it a boot. Specified boot is part two. Let's see if it's booting in the right image. Because you also have the difference boot partition, uh, like a switch or a router in this device. So it's booted up. Um, as you can see, there is a IP address signed to the device. And let's see if we can go into the uh, interface now. Let me fire up a new uh, Chrome session. I'm using Chrome. And let's see. doesn't seem to be working okay um, hold on Okay, once it booted, you will see or else you can do it in the configuration here to uh, configure it. But um, once it booted, it will send out the uh, Wi-Fi SSID. It's called Cisco Air Provision. Uh, once you connect to that, uh, the password is a password, it's simple. It will automatically uh, boot up an interface to it. So. Here you can start con uh, configuring that um, that controller. So let's follow the steps. Create an admin account. So let's see. I'm going to keep it simple. Um, let me just put in my password. No, that's not correct. Okay, let's click start. Enter my SSID. I'm gonna keep it also simple for video purposes. My country is. Let me look for it. Belgium. Date and time. That's correct at the moment. Time zone. Well, I don't think there is Brussels inside here. So let's keep it on Amsterdam. Optional, no, management IP, I'm gonna put in mm, Yeah, that's my first one Okay, default gateway Enable DSCP, I'm gonna put that off Disable management network scope will not, will not run into the DSP server. That's correct. I don't need, you can put in a DSP server if you don't have one. Um, which is, what's the problem? Why isn't it valid? This one 
that's not valid. That's correct, sorry. Next. Um, let's do... Effect, let's go ahead and... That's not my system name because I'm going to use all my... All my AP points for the same name, so let's go ahead and do that. Yes, personal. Uh, let's do. Envelope password value. I uh, don't think it's strong enough. Yeah. So let's see what can we do. This should be okay. I'm gonna put it on another villain. Build on two. Uh, employee. Yes, I will need. No, let's do it later. Oh, let's see. System name. Okay, that's my system name. So I'm gonna use. Mm, sorry. That's fine for me. Employee. That's one I'm gonna use. Wi Fi. Then I'm gonna use another different password here. Sorry. I'm not gonna use a DSCP server on it on the employee. And I'm not gonna use a VLAN on this one. Sorry. That's for the guest. I wanna use for the guest. Well, that's for now. I'm not gonna configure the guest, so let's do this one. What's this? Client density, typical data invoice. Let's keep this on data only. Let's confirm the settings and apply. Okay. So that's it. It should be easy if you, once you convert it. Um, but you will need to connect with the Wi-Fi only. The other way is uh, you have there is an app on your phone, and it's called. Let me see. Cisco Wireless. Just look for it, and then you should be able to configure it also with your uh, Cisco Wireless with the uh, app. So you can go for it also. So I hope it, this was informative and um, hope to see you again.